be in here, pal. I got it. No, I got it. Bob, I already said I was gonna answer the phone. You don't need to answer the phone every time. But I never answer the phone. That's because the person who answers the phone gets bonus pay. <laughs> Wait, they they do? <laughs> Hello? Alright, we'll be right on our way. Bob, we've got a red, blue, raccoon, dog, book, tree at 7 o'clock. You mean there's a lady being mugged? Pop, oh, we're supposed to stick to the codes! Alright, let's get on that raccoon at 7 o'clock. Whatever, let's go. Prepare to be mugged! No, please don't touch me. You have so many germs! You are now being Please, someone help me! Stop! We are the police! Yeah, we will arrest you if you do illegal things. I think that was implied, Bob. Oh, look! I am now wrong! The mugger's escaping! Get him, Bob! Hey, stop! We're the police! Problem solved. That'll be $100, miss. Wait, I, I think I heard something coming from that house. <laughs> miss, people live inside of houses. It's only natural that you heard someone, something inside of that one. Probably a murderer. Bob, normal people live in houses too. Whatever you say. No, like a gunshot sound. <laughs> <laughs> miss, if it'll make you feel any better, we'll go investigate. But uh, that'll double the cost. I'm not paying you. Police are free. Pretty sure she's right, Will. Shut up, Bob! Of course we're trying to get paid. Are you serious? Don't say that. She's gonna know we don't have to pay. Shut up! Oh my god. We're trying to get paid here, buddy. Come on. Figure it out. Get it together. There goes our lead witness. Lead witness for what? Uh, crimes? Ugh, how did I end up with you as a partner? Come on, let's go investigate inside this house. Maybe someone will pay us. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> She killed this poor man. All right, she's our lead suspect. First, we need to find this man's money so we can take compensation for our efforts here. I'll go search his mail. His mail? Like bank stuff and like credit card info. Genius, Bob. It's times like this I almost appreciate you as my partner. Hmm. Found something. Is it money? Uh, it's a letter from someone named Charlie. Well, read it. Maybe this Charlie character was paying him. Dear Phil, I got your message about the Hackatron spikes in your area. I've been picking it up, too. I would say there's definitely robot activity, but me and Sam Samson Smith shut down all the robots last year, so that's impossible. Let me know if anything further happens. Charlie. Sam Samson Smith! Who's that? He's the guy who broke Mr. the Gab out of jail. Oh, yeah, but he gave us a penny. 
Idiot! Look, if we can find this Charlie guy, maybe we can get to him, and through him, recapture the greatest criminal of all time, Mr. The Gab. I bet we get paid a lot of money for that one. <laughs> oh wait, there's an address here. One, two, three, four. Hacker Ave. Well, that sucks. This is catastrophic. We lost our only lead. Damn. Hello. 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 Hi, I'm John. And I'm Erin. And I'm Hans. Would you like to hear our story? We are farmers. And we really like to sing. We make our bread every day. My head, I hear bells ring. And now we have a story about all the nice things that makes us three farmers really want to sing. I come from a small town of 123, but if I try to count past 10, my brain functions me to cease. At my night, my dad would lie me down in a room that was barely lit, and then he'd get the goat for the bar to go to fuck. Funny how my best friend Isaac one day disappeared. I only found his thriddle, and I, then I shed a tear. My mama always told me that these feelings would soon pass, because Jews would be sent to camps and all be gas. Gone, gone are the days. Where no TVs or radios play When there were no cars around And there were no big towns And my dad would beat me all day I'm sorry, but what does this have to do with our lead suspect? If you want to know that, you gotta listen to it all. Telling the story reminds me of how much I love to be in the Third Reich. You can't say things like that! Gone, gone are the days When our God received his much deserved praise but they will not atone, they deserve to be stoned, and they'll all burn in hell with the gays. That's not very nice. Am I gonna burn in hell? Well, do you go to church every Sunday? Uh, well, no. Do you read the Bible every night? Uh, no. Well, I don't need to hear anymore. You're going to hell, my friend. Uh, sorry. Still not getting how this connects to Charlie. My father would take me out back and show me his big gun. He'd let me hold on to the shaft and wave it around for fun. We were a happy family with my brother and my sister. What I never really understood was how my sister was my mother. Mother one day came home with a soldier. He, he liked to touch her in more places than her shoulder. Dad came home drunk one day and said he was Adolf Hitler. The soldier whipped him until I saw his spine. His name was Heinrich Himmler. That's horrible! Yeah, how old were you, did you say? Well, I was only 12, you know, a young man. I signed up the very next day. Now, now here's a story that's really quite sad. I found out my mother was a Jew. My father was a bit with my sister and my wife. And they thought I wanted fiber optic cables to... to... So how'd you meet Charlie? We're getting there, please wait. Soon, soon we all found each other with no, no, no more friends around. I knew the ways of the goat loving. I knew how to work the oven. And I bought a new tech free farm ground. So, did they answer our question? No, Bob. So, once you got this farm, you met Charlie? Long, long was this trip. To take over this farm in a life fighting partnership. If any of you break this spell, God will smite you right now, and Satan will give you the whip. Whoops. Why'd you enter this agreement it then? Well, we really had no choice, you see. Like that one time, poor Jimmy was put in the shower, and then, boop. Wait, but you never mentioned Charlie. Who, who is Charlie? We really have no clue, you see. We just thought it'd be nice to give you this friendly advice. So don't, don't make, make our mistakes, mistakes and you'll be happy. Also read the Bible. Bible. That was the biggest waste of time. What about the time when we went to that kid's house and we thought he did a mass murder, but um, he decided to paint his room red? Oh yeah, you're right. That was pretty wasteful. Mm. All right, let's go. Good idea, Will. Wait! Clear, clear we can see You didn't take the advice that was given to me She didn't even take my free Bible We have no leads, and no paychecks, and no food! Bob, food's right here. Well, I must have seemed to have forgot. 
Bob, did you spend the night here again? Well, I was thinking about like how I put, could put the guy in jail before I die, and then I get a news interview on YLN, and then... Well, it's good to have dreams. Ha! I got it! Ugh. Bob, what are you going to say to them? Do you remember the code system? Oh, um, no, I, I don't. Here, take it! <sighs> Hello? As soon as possible, we're on our way. Bob? We've got a Christian tune-up, red, green, blue, ball, main, seven, six, your dog's awesome, mom, awesome. Oh, that means someone spotted Sam Sandwich and Smith. Bob, next time use the code system. Let's go. Stop. Police, you're under arrest. Since you're the only one here, you must be hiding Sam Samerson Smith. Tell us where he is or face 24 hours in jail. Excuse me? I'm here on my annual Kelowna trip from the small town of Burnaby. I'm here to see my grandma, actually. And after walking all the way from Burnaby to Kelowna, I was expecting a long nap, a pool, and a sauna. But instead, you're going to say that you're going to arrest me? Not acceptable. You know, my grandma's hip is going, and this may be the last time I get to see her with both of her hips working. I may have to say goodbye to one of her hips today, which means that I have to be there as soon as possible to make her, help her get through this emotionally terrible loss. Oh, one moment, please. Hello? Of course. Lilacs and violets, please. I don't care if they don't go together. They're her favorite flowers. Okay, thanks so much. Okay, where were we? How rude of them. No wonder we have professional heroes now. The quality of policemen is really declining in this modern time. Still have 23 kilometers to go. Bye. Who am I talking to? Oh, how on earth can someone talk that long? My dad once talked for two hours straight after taking the sleepy powder. <laughs> I think that was a hallucination side effect. Yeah, probably. Mm. A crime! I think it's Sam Samerson Smith, and he's killing people now! The plot thickens. Haha! <laughs> you have been tricked! Who are you? Let go! We need to find Sam Samson Smith! Hello there, my detectives. Are you a friend of Sam Samerson Smith? No, of course I'm not. I thought you two were. He's been trying to stop me from taking over the world for some time now. I figured you two were the newest members of his team. But we were trying to arrest Sam. Oh my, you two even have the lack of intelligence that's so common among Sam and his team. Wait a sec. But Sam freed Mr. The Gab from jail. Only because he knew how to find me. Seriously, how stupid can one person get? So Sam's not a bad guy. Well, then, whoever you are, you're under arrest. Or, uh, uh what's he done? Uh, I think he's trying to take over the world. Ooh, and gunshot sound. Right, right. You're under arrest for trying to take over the world and possibly firing a gun. Right. Well, if I spend another moment around here with you two, I fear my brain cells will die. Small bot!
time to die, you trash. Please, no, don't kill me. I'll give you some of my life savings. No, most of my life savings. All of them. Just don't kill me. Ow, my kneecaps. Human eliminated. Have a nice day. Bob! No, please! Bob! Bob! Hey, well. Oh, Bob! You were alive! I thought you were dead! Uh, no, I'm not dead yet. I just thought I'd close my eyes. <laughs> Tell me we can go now. Well, no, actually, I'm bleeding out. I'm probably gonna die any second now. Oh. Bob? Oh. Bob! Bob! Oh, no! Can you not actually shout, please? It kind of hurts my ears. Oh, Bob, you're alive! Oh, Bob, I thought you died there! No, not yet. Oh, so, I was thinking we should uh, buy a scooter so we don't have to always get room. Bob! No, Bob! So we don't always need to what, Bob? Finish the sentence, Bob! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, so we don't have to always run everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna die now. Bob! <laughs> Hi, Williamson Willis Will. I have received notice that you just lost your partner. That is extremely unfortunate, and I'd probably feel bad if I wasn't a pre-recorded message. I would like you to know the best way to get over this grieving is to not grieve in the first place. That is why I have already taken the liberty of requesting all new candidates for detectives to be sent to the police headquarters of Kelowna immediately so you can conduct interviews and get yourself a new partner. I now must read you this advertisement because I was paid extra to do so. Remember, a partner that can run is a partner that is fun. Try the new detective partner treadmill installed in every police headquarters near you. Merely sign a contract saying we will receive 40% of your lifetime earnings and we'll let you start using that treadmill whenever you want. Unless there's a power outage or we just don't feel like letting you use it. That concludes the advertisement. Have a nice day! Well, I guess I better go interview those candidates first. Ah, hi, I guess you're here for the, uh, detective position? Yes, I am. The name's Bob. That's not funny. Oh, I'm always funny. Yet always serious because I'm Bob. Look, if you want to make fun of someone else's dead partner, go find another police Oh, station. Mr. Will, I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm here to support you mentally, emotionally, and physically. Uh, right, okay, uh, so are you actually Bob? Of course I'm yeah. Bob! Bob. But um, I think I'm really okay without the whole. Oh, now let me tell you something. Doubts in your eyes, but it's really no surprise. I've been partners with men, partners with women, all those other things like robots, even. To all you crazy people, I can tell you just one thing you're the best detective partner I have ever seen. You and me could become the best partners in the world. I'll be right there. Now, I love seeing this much as the next man, but uh, I really must get on with my day. Okay. No, 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 no. We ain't gonna stop so many crimes today. And I know, no, no, no. You and me are the right decision. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna catch some bad guys all day. Watch, 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 watch. You're gonna see Will and Bob. 
stopping crime, fighting guys, trying not to die on the world television. Crime on the world television. All right, all right. I, I guess I do need a new partner now that my old one's gone. But if, if you sing one more time, I am finding someone else. Bob, the one and only Bob, who's gonna stop singing now? If I stop singing, you could be mad anyhow. Let's stop crimes now! Okay, well first, you need to be trained. Alright, so, uh, river 200 feet below complex of monastery beneath a bridge, 300 to mom's day, 500 to 999, means we got a murder. Uh, ticket back home we didn't like, Gomez, red, blue, niner, niner, means, uh, we got a woman on the loose. Oof. Real rule number one, cops always dip their donuts into milk and coffee. Uh, timeline, many places of horses, uh, red, green, awesome. We, we are on our way to a drag race. Rule number two, whenever we bring a child into the police station, we always touch them appropriately. Let's do it, Sergeant. Oh, squeeze it in! Oh. Bob, this bump, oh. always. That's rule number one. Oh my god. Oh. 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 That's too bad. Rule number three, when there's a sound system, we always tuck and roll. Boom. Okay, I think you're ready. Of course I am, because I'm Bob. Alright. Uh, okay, so I put a tracker on Mr. Smallchild so I know where they are right now. Let's get him, partner. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Well, here it is. It's been fun. And you know, I'm sorry I haven't always been there for you. But I promise, I'm gonna be there for the last chapter of our story. Together. Bob, we're just going in to arrest a criminal. Yeah, you know, I was just sort of generally letting you know what's going on because I am Bob. Hello, weak, low IQ people. Elimination beginning in three. There he is. Arrest him. Hello, my friend. The name's Bob. Two. You're under arrest. But don't worry. You've been arrested by the one and only Bob. One. Whoa! Why did he shoot at me? I said he was under arrest. I'm not sure. Rule number 73 says people have to do what we say when they're under arrest. Oh, I'll try running him through some basic training. Good work. Huh. Wow, you're quite good at this, Mr. Smallchild. I don't ask you to join my jogging team, but I think there's a strict no robot policy. I'll try and find a way to settle down. But we're having so much fun! Rule number one all cops dip their donuts in milk and coffee. Number two, when we take children in, we only touch them appropriately. Number three, when there's all the sound systems, we dive roll into the beat box and... I found the ones to shut them down. Goat. And then... Alright, fine. How? Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Just tell me how. You have to sing a really high-pitched oh. note. Why didn't you just say so, Mr. Will? I am Bob. I am Bob. The one and only Bob, the man you need. I can tell you already love me. You don't even need to plead. And I'm gonna stop this robot with one high pitch no. And I know, no, no, no. I just epically stopped that robot, and I know you can no. stop now, Bob. All right. If there's anything Bob knows how to do, it's when to stop. And when to start? Okay, uh, well, we did it. <laughs> Up top! What? 
I'll teach you later, Willis. Please, never call me Willis again. Well, at least we stopped this robot who was, uh, killing people like he did to Bob. Not you, Bob. The other Bob. I am Bob. The one and only Bob. Well, now you are, I suppose. It's a shame we never found that guy who looked all in charge and stuff. Yeah, it's like an underground crime organization. Will and Bob versus the evil robot underground. I think I know where to look, though. Oh, wait. Hello? Oh, that's horrible. Bob, we've got a code 37119999 red blue five cooking panel 76 wardrobe mom's your mom's dad. Come on. Okay, so, we we've got a man who's been in a basement for many months and he's escaped and he's killed his friend. I Bob We'll catch this criminal! Well, we'll catch this criminal. Yes! I, Bob, with the help of my sidekick, Will, will catch this criminal. Whatever. <laughs>